Okay, Sisters fans, another TV Line article here from Trinity Whiteside, who did an interview on the 15th. That's when it was posted. Trinity says Preston is ready to talk, but is Danny ready to listen? No, she never is. No, just no. But as always, if you want to read this article for yourself, I will leave a link in the comment section below. I have not read this article. It was just sent to me about an hour ago. And I am going to read along and give my reactions to it. So, uh, if you saw my post from last week in the community tab and on Instagram and the sister's Facebook page, then you know I was not a fan of the Danny and... Pre well, I wasn't a fan of how Danny handled their conversation towards the end of the last episode. So, there we go. If Danny and Preston's relationship in passe on sisters is frustrating you, actor Trinity feels your pain. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm frustrated. The actor who has been in, who has been inspiring fans to root for the love between Danny and Preston ever since season two says Preston is just as much to blame for the couple's strife on the BET drama. For starters, taking Tanya on a date and parading her around Karen's salon not once but twice certainly doesn't didn't help matters. I am going to hold my tongue for right now. Let me keep reading. Unfortunately, Preston used Tanya as a bargaining chip with Danny. I don't agree with his methods, but he wants Danny to see she's not the only one checking for him, and it doesn't seem to be working. If anything, it backfired and upset Danny, and now she's angry. That's why he had to come clean about not liking Tanya and thinking about Danny the whole time he was with her. In a perfect world, Preston's honestly would have encouraged Danny to be more honest too and admitted she wasn't going on a date but hanging out with her girls. Instead, Danny doubled down on the lie and accused Preston of trying to make her his love expert. They both play games, and I think that's part of the problem. Now they're in a situation where they're going tit for tat with another. It's a lot of back and forth with them because the lack of communication is still a major issue with them. They are not on the same wavelength, and that has been problematic from the start. He expressed to her that he does love her, but at this point, the love hasn't been reciprocated. Compounding the problem is a lack of communication commitment and candor uh let me i gotta google that word c-a-n-d-o-r so let me go ahead and look it up even though sorry there's no definitions oh well let me actually search google instead my bad bear with me because i'm trying to make sure i'm getting through this as uh, efficiently as possible because trust and believe i have a lot of thoughts um the quality of being open and honest frankness. Okay, basically being blunt, I guess is the way to say it. There's too much of a gray area. No one is saying you are mine and I am yours. If they are committed, things will be better. Preston wasn't asking Danny to raise him up. He was telling her to show him how she needs to be loved. And she took it the wrong way. She can't, he can't read her mind. It's good when men say, tell me what you want, because that doesn't happen all the time. Without revealing too much about what will happen in the season, he says he's rooting for a Danny and Preston reconciliation just as much as the fans are. Preston and Danny clearly have chemistry, and I think that's why fans are so drawn to them. Both characters are likable, and Mignon and I have a great on-screen connection. Preston and Danny deserve love, and it needs to be reciprocal. So, basically... Hey, reciprocate my love, and I will do the same for you. I really hope they work things out every time we get the scripts. I'm like, okay, let's see how this is going to go. Trinity, first of all, love your character of Preston. But again, I have to disagree. This, this is just like the last time uh, Mignon and Trinity did articles about the Danny Preston relationship. I'm not saying Trini uh, Preston is not at fault whatsoever, but... No, no, I'm not saying what he did with Tanya was right, but why is no one addressing two occasions where Preston caught Danny with two other men? Him basically showing Danny, oh yeah, you're not the only one checking for me doesn't matter because she's already fucking other men. There was a time where Danny and Preston were the go-to couple. Like, go back to season... Because remember, season... The first three seasons are on BET Plus right now. Go back to early season two. 
Andy just lost all of her crap due to the Gary getting arrested situation. Karen was, you know, basically deciding to be with, um, to be with, uh, Zach. Or, I'm sorry, not Zach. She was signed to be with Aaron over Zach, and, you know, Zach got arrested and whatnot. Sabrina was on the uh, fence about Calvin, especially after, you know, the rumor about him doing drugs and, you know, trying to get him to take a drug test and all tricking him. And I remember there was this one episode, I forgot which one it was, but I think one of the girls called Danny with some drama, probably with Sabrina, but guess what? She was in the, she was taking a bubble bath with Preston. I think it was either him or her wearing the cowboy hat. They were in a bubble bath just unwinding. And I'm like, you know what? All this stuff going on. I remember when season two started, I'm like, okay, you know what? Danny's my favorite sister because in season one, I was indifferent to her. She was probably my least favorite. But then as the season went on, I'm like, okay, you know what? I like this character. And then when season two started, yeah, she's definitely my favorite of the four. This was before Zach and Fatima even met, by the way. They had the... Uh, these two were like the original Zatima in regards to, okay, they're the couple that fans want to see win. But then out of nowhere, Tyler just added in this whole immaturity factor to Danny not being able to communicate. And, you know, just she's letting her own mind ruin the relationship with Preston. And it got so annoying really fast. And it only got worse as time went on. Can you believe that Preston's racist step siblings were less of a hassle to their relationship than Danny's imagination. Let that sink in for a little bit. I do not think these two should be together anymore. I mean, I I, I was a I was a shipper. I wanted these two to work it out, but I don't think there's no coming back from this. I mean, sure, they could possibly work it out, but. Preston, oh, Trinity in this article talks about, you know, Preston needs to do, Preston don't need to do a damn thing. He literally told Danny, please tell me what you want. Danny's the one who never has a serious conversation. She's either talking down or talking at someone. She's not listening. She basically, what what's they say? Um, What's that? I saw this quote somewhere. It was like, you need to make sure you're listening to understand as opposed to listening and only only for you to respond. Nine times out of ten, when Danny says something, she's, you know, condescending. She's snarky. She's basically making it seem like Preston's the one who has the problem without even recognizing, hey, I've messed up too. It isn't just you that's done this and that. I've done a few things that have been foul. Preston deserves way better. With the, with the Calvin and Sabrina thing, I'm just tired of the back and forth. Either you want them or you don't. I think at this point, you know, Calvin has shown himself to be not the kind of person who is... I don't think a man or a woman should be, you know, hey, I'm going to, you know, get into a fight every time I feel disrespected. You know, every single time. And then, you know, when it comes to Preston and Danny... Danny, it just seems like the whole, like, what, what the article say? They're going tick for tat. So what does this mean? I guess that, uh, okay. Tanya said her hair got wet because of Preston. So does that mean they had sex? I don't know. But, uh, so what? Does Preston need to get another girl and have sex with her? So he and Danny are even. And just like it was said, you know, Danny lied about having that date with Logan. No, she shot him down and El Fuego before uh, Preston called. So she could have easily just said, um... Actually, I'm going to hang out with my girls tonight, so you have fun with Tanya. I mean, if she would have said that, hey, it is what it is. But I, I'm not rooting for these two anymore. It's just like, um, I feel like, uh, oh, actually, there are some pretty lengthy comments on this uh, article here. It's just one of these things where, um, yes, I would love to see Danny and Preston as a couple. It gives you hope, especially me. I think Danny needs to start talking to him and not at him be open and honest. Get Danny and Preston on the same wavelength. She's messing around for the hell of it, but Preston really loves her. Karen needs to come to the realization. Okay, I'm not reading all that. I'm just reading the Danny stuff. Um, do, 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 okay, this should be good. 
Of course, Danny and Preston should be together. In fact, they were on their way to being the first successful couple on the show, even before Zatima. Yes, but for some reason, Tyler Perry took Danny back to that lost, confused, angry image of a black woman with the inability to recognize a good man. So she sabotages the opportunity by messing with men who don't like to, um, who don't look to edify her. Tyler missed a golden opportunity with Preston put himself on the line and told Danny that he needed her to take him by the hand and show him what she needs and wants from him. And Danny said that she wasn't trying to help him to become a man. Preston wasn't asking Danny to raise him, but basically make, make him a better man for her. She was one of the original sisters with some uh, semblance of common sense who spoke her mind and asked those hard questions, no matter whether the other girls liked it or not. But recently her script has been dumbed down. She should have been allowed to understand what Preston was saying, but Tyler has made these girls thinking like high school instead of women yeah high school girls instead of women with some life experience and the ability to recognize a good opportunity instead they want these deadbeat men who want to control and manipulate them freeload or have freaky sex with them these are 30 something professional women still acting like teenagers tyler definitely needs help with writing because it's either the betrayal of old Medea acting women or broke needy abused low self-esteem lack of confidence or unstable women who are incapable of letting go Please, for the sake of real black women, stop with the insulting portrayals of black women and get Danny back on track with Preston. Karen, Andy, and Sabrina are lost causes. Don't even understand why anybody would want to play the roles of them three. Probably because it's the highest rated show and I'm pretty sure their pay is pretty good. And hopefully Zatima won't be messed up with the stereotypical writing of couples like on For Better or Worse, The Oval, and The Haves and Have Nots. Couple of convenience per partnerships or just stuck together. Living separate lives while remaining together. Always fussing and filled with conflict. And please don't have Fatima start acting like Medea, carrying her piece of steel and ready to always fight. Please do better. Put that pride aside and get that help. Damn, I might have to do a video on this. This is a very good comment. That's from a DSMW. That's one of the top comments on the post. So, yeah, I'm just over it. Um, There needs to be some fine tuning on the writing. Hopefully that's what happens in season five, but only time will tell. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you are up to date when I post content. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.